What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create the right on text that is literally next to me right now. All right, so we are in Premiere Pro right now, as I'm sure you can tell. And this is the effect I'm talking about on the big screen right now. We're basically going to be uh, working through how to animate text so that it looks like it actually writes itself on it. Now, this works really well when combined with a handwritten style font as well. So by all means, go get yourself a handwritten style font uh, or use the regular one or what I've actually done, which I'm trying to just kind of give you guys as much as possible is I've attached the uh, this this identical font that I'm using right now in the description down below. You can download it. It's called the Stay Fresh Demo and I've literally got it linked down below for you guys to download so you could follow through with the exact same font that I'm doing or by all means, it's very easy to go to like Daft Font or just Google free write on fonts and you'll get something, you know, quality and similar to this. But basically, it is going to be an effect where it writes the text on. And this effect is actually a lot easier than you'd think so. And all you have to do is pretty much just use one particular effect and then just kind of, you know, go through the semi tedious process of animating this on. But it's not as bad as it could be. And, uh, you know, it's not as bad as a lot of animation is. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Now I'm going to delete this right on text right here. I'm going to go up to my graphics here, go over to browse and just go ahead and drag in a basic title. And let's just scrub along in our in our timeline until we see the 10 second mark up here. And let's just go ahead and make this about 10 seconds okay so what i want to do is actually have it animate animate on within the first five seconds probably and then just stay there for another five seconds so i'm gonna press t to jump to my text tool go up here and i'm actually just gonna write um right right on so we're literally just animating the words right on then i'm gonna go to my text i'm actually gonna you know click s s start jumping down here to my s fonts go ahead and select my stay fresh demo font that's going to put that on a handwritten style font. And then I'm just going to uh, highlight it all, drag it up a little bit so that it's actually probably about 250, something like that. Boom. And, and just align it so that it's dead on in the center of my image. And in fact, I might even bring that down a little bit to maybe about uh, 240. Just we got a decent size uh, and then just center that again. And right here on screen right now, we just have, uh, you know, right on the words and it's in a handwritten text. So the next thing we want to do is get our actual write on effect, which is it's pretty much a very easy effect to find. All you have to do is go to effects and type in write on. Yeah, you know what I mean? This is a very, very basic uh, kind of straightforward effect here that you'd think would be the one it is called literally write on. So I'm going to drag that to my text. Then I'm going to scroll down so that I can actually get to the uh, parameters to tweak as part of the right on effect. And the first thing I want to do is just change my brush size, uh, size to about 30 um, and just change the color of it to red. Well, it doesn't have to be red. For example, if your text was red, I would say your brush size should be white. It's basically just a color that's going to stand out against your actual text. And then go ahead and filter it down to about 75. So you've got your whole text on screen right there. And you've got your, uh, your brush, which is a standout color to the text. So, you know, if my text was green, I would have probably red as well. If my text was red, I might have white or green or, you know, anything that's just going to stand out basically. Then you actually want to go ahead and just change a couple things. You want to make sure your brush hardness is on 100. Uh, the, 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 the stroke length is how long it lasts. So if my uh, text is 10 seconds, it says seconds here. I'm going to put 10 so that it stays there the whole time. And that's all you have to tweak for the time being. In fact, I might want to put my brush size to about 25, just so it's enough to cover uh, the individual piece of text as it go by, goes by, you see. So this is basically what we're going to do. We're going to animate it so that it follows along. But in fact, I might even be able to get away with 20. Um, essentially, just so it can just cover a line of the text. Okay, so yep, 20 looks like it's going to do it for me. I'm going to start this uh, animation right here so that it's not covering any text, but we want to start our particular brush from a place where we can animate it in and we can make it look like it literally is following along and actually animating this on. So the way we'd actually start by doing this is go to the very first frame and go ahead and put the toggle animation on the brush position, meaning that at the very beginning, it's right here and then we can start animating it through. 
So what I want to then start doing is literally just start going in frame by frame using my keyboard uh, arrow keys to actually go uh, frame by frame across. So to start this, I might even go one, two, three, three frames in or four or five. I might do five frames in and just go ahead and drag this now to about here. Okay, so now if we go back, that is going to have animated there within three frames. Okay, and I just need to make sure that it is highlighting everything. So if I go back, you see it doesn't fully, uh, it doesn't get everything there. I don't, I don't think. Ooh, okay, no, it, it actually has when I've, uh, when I've replayed it. But we just want to actually now proceed to animate this. So if by three seconds it's here, actually I just want to make sure and adjust that so that it actually encompasses the whole piece of text and we're not missing anything. Then I could go another three seconds across, bring it to about here. Then this is a longer period, so I might do five seconds or five frames rather, not seconds. And um, do another three there. Just start animating this on so that the red brush size is actually encompassing the whole piece of text. And I'm just going, oh, see, I'm gonna undo that there because I messed up and pulled the wrong bit. I'm just, I keep going along maybe three seconds at a time. And I'm just animating or three frames at a time. So I'm just tapping uh, right three times, going down here, positioning this about here, going three frames, going up a similar distance to the to the distance I've just moved, going up again, positioning that there, going three down, and this is the tedious process that comes from it. But once you guys actually have have created this animation right here, uh, we're gonna actually change one setting, and it's going to uh, have the appearance that it is writing on this effect, okay? So then we've just animated the W here. We've just hit about the one second mark and I'm gonna go off one frame, go over here, go another frame, come way down here so that we can actually kind of just start at the, uh, the bottom of this next um, R, okay? And now one, two, so I could actually put this on, boom. Okay, actually, we probably want to come up here, um, and you, you see what I'm. You see what I'm doing. There's no particular rhyme or reason to it. It's literally just uh, kind of trying to encompass the entire the entire text underneath the the red marker. So I'm just trying to keep animating it on. Boom! Bring that down here. Just trying to animate this on in a good way. Boom, bring that up here. Bring that up here. Boom, oh. So you gotta be careful you're not bringing, bringing stuff out of place. But it's, it's nearly done, it's nearly done. We just wanna keep pushing this on. Keep creating this shit right here. Boom. Hey, boom, right there. Oh, nearly, we've nearly got the right, and boom. Just like that, we have actually done the right. So, the way to actually apply this effect is to go down here and to actually just change the on original image to reveal original image. So now if we go back to the beginning, go here to fit and give this a play, this will be writing on the word right. And just like that, we have, you know, achieved the effect. And it just does just that, it writes on the word right and then we could actually go back down here just change that to on original image come back over here so that it has successfully written on that right there and then we actually just give this a play so we wait for it to write on um, ignore all that crazy stuff in, in the actual final product it won't be going crazy like that um, and now what we actually do is just come down here again we could zoom in to about 75 go ahead and just um, uh, press another Another one there, so we actually just keep that same same position. And actually, just I, I want to go ahead and actually select select my guy. <laughs> scroll down here, scroll down here, click brush position. Select this guy, the actual thing itself. Bring it to about here because this is where I want to start it. I'm gonna go two frames in and just start animating animating up on this, just surrounding the O, so that we're we're literally trying to. Oh, we could actually go back there. Keep going along. 
bit by bit. I'm just going literally frame by frame right now just so I can get this as accurate as possible. If it's not the most accurate thing in the world, by all means that, you know, it, it doesn't really matter uh, the most in the world. However, um, as accurate as you can get it, it's just going to make it look even nicer. You know what I mean? And just like that, that should be it. So now if we actually go down here, just go ahead and change the paint style to reveal original image. And we actually just go back here, go to sequence, render that into out so we can actually watch this smooth with no lag, no delay. And we're actually gonna give this a play, see what it's looking like. Just like that, we have achieved the right on text effect. Obviously, I did this pretty quickly. So I think I just saw a couple little errors right there by all means. For your proper projects, I would, you know, spend a little bit more than just a 10 minute tutorial on actually uh, tweaking this, making sure it looks kind of perfect. It is a lot of frame by frame messing around with stuff and tweaking stuff, but a lot of the, the nicest stuff you can do in video editing comes from the tedious frame by frame tweaking process. But overall, this has been the right on text effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching and goodbye.